All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some earbuds that I've been using for almost two weeks now. And that is from the company Edifier. So as my channel's grown, I've been blessed with getting emails from companies asking me to review some product. And Edifier reached out to me via email and said, hey, we've seen your channel. We'd love for you to review some of our earbuds. So they were kind enough to send me two different sets. Now this video will be covering one and I'll be doing a separate video on the others. Now this one's gonna be covering their TWS 330NB earbuds. Now these are true wireless earbuds that are an in-ear design with a stem that sticks out of the ear. So they're kind of like an AirPods Pro clone, but not really. And honestly guys, I don't really care for the AirPods Pro design. I mean, that's okay. But at the end of the day, I prefer the traditional more in-ear that doesn't have anything sticking out or around my ear. That's just me. But a lot of companies jumped on that bandwagon because everyone wanted the AirPods Pro. And if you're standing like 10 or 15 feet away from me and you have a stem sticking out of your ear, a lot of people think they're AirPods Pro. But once you get closer, they can tell that they're not, uh, mainly because it has an Edifier logo on each stem. But besides the cosmetics of these earbuds, these are $59 earbuds that have active noise cancellation. So it's a hybrid ANC, it has ambient mode as well. So a lot of nice little features for $59. And so is it worth 59 bucks? So on my grading scale of everything with the earbuds, I kind of judge earbuds on a lot of different things, right? Sound quality, do they fit my ear? the charging capabilities of them. So I'm gonna to touch on each of those briefly, and then kind of at the end of the video, give you my overall on a scale from A plus to an F, where does it fall, right? So as far as the um, earbuds themselves go, when you take them out of the box, you're greeted with the white um, Apple AirPods Pro style casing right there. You got a single LED indicator right there in the front. Uh, when you flip it around to the back, you are greeted with a USB-C port, which is awesome. Uh, there is no micro USB with these, so I absolutely love that. And then inside the box, you are getting an instruction manual, which really only has one page of English uh, instructions. And then everything else is in a different language, uh, French, Spanish, you name it. Now, you also are getting a ton of different ear tips. You're getting a whole five set of different sizes of ear tips. So there is no reason to not get a good fitment in ear with these to get a nice seal and not get all the stuff leaking out, right, of the sound and other, you know, outside noises leaking in. So you do get all that and you also do get a uh, USB-C uh, to type A charging cable. So a type A to USB-C charging cable is included in the box as well. It's really short, so if you have a USB-C cable laying around, use that one, it'll be fine. I've been using my uh, super fast charging cable with it and it's worked just fine. Um, but that's what you get inside the box. Now when you open them up, you're greeted with the earbuds sitting in there, very similar once again to the AirPods Pro. They're sitting in nice, the stem connects in there magnetically. So you do have a nice secure fit when you're shaking it they're not gonna fall out. The capsule of the actual Edifier uh, case uh, does have a very nice satisfying click when you're opening it. It's very easy to open and close with one hand. Didn't have any issues at all with that. Um, so that's pretty much it with the box and unboxing experience. So pretty, pretty simple. Now let's get into some of the features. So the main thing that people care about with these is Edifier claims that they are a hybrid active noise cancellation headphone. So with that, you're getting some sort of ANC that is gonna block out uh, more than just having them in your ear. It also has ambient sound mode as well. Now these are gonna be activated and toggled back and forth and you can actually change the different tapping modes and stuff as well with the Edifier Connect app. Now this app is gonna be helpful if you want to switch back and forth between ANC and ambient mode. Um, you're able to see the battery life of the earbuds. Um, you're able to do a lot of random little things. Now, the app's not my favorite by any means. Uh, really, I think the Galaxy Buds uh, app is, is my favorite 
out of all the apps when it comes to headphones. But with this, they try. Um, but you are able, like I said, to toggle between A and C and ambient mode. And you have different levels that you can set it at. And so just to come out right out and say, uh, the ambient mode, not too bad, right? I, it's hard to mess up ambient mode in my opinion. I mean, obviously there's headphones that have really good ambient mode that just sound fantastic, that give you those, you know, give you those superhuman ears. And then there's some that are just like, meh. These are okay. So when I have them in my ear, I can hear the kids screaming in the background. I was at the gym, I could hear people, you know, talking and stuff like that when I had it on. But let's be real, if you have headphones that have ANC, I would say probably nine times out of 10, like me, I'm having ANC activated all the time, right? So ANC with these work, kind of. So what I mean by that is they're not just the best, right? So I honestly couldn't tell a huge difference when I had the earbuds in my ear toggling between ambient mode, or excuse me, toggling between A and C and just having it just turned off. And so not switching to ambient mode, but just not having anything on. So A and C versus nothing. I could hear maybe a tiny difference, but it wasn't like, you know, the Apple's AirPod uh, Pros where it's just instant silence, right? And it's just amazing. Um, so with these, they definitely don't do that. But once again, though, you know, for $59, they give it a try, but it just swings and misses a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Um, I, I think there's room for improvement, honestly. Obviously, as they get better and, you know, we do these reviews and give them our feedback, hopefully they take that, you know, information and improve. And like I said, the ANC works, it just doesn't work great, okay? So not a complaint, because uh, once again, in the back of my head, $59 headphones, so what am I to expect with ANC, right? So another thing that's nice about the headphones is you do get an IP54 rating with these earbuds. So you do get um, some dust and splash and water resistance. Uh, you don't go dunking them in the water or jump in a pool with them. Um, but they are going to survive the gym and all that so you can get sweaty with them You can splash them you can spill water on them. Just don't go submerging them That's the only thing I would recommend now as far as talking about sound again It does have an AAC codex as well So I did pair these with my Samsung Galaxy S21 and also with my iPhone 12 to see if I could hear any difference because usually with AAC, I can hear a little bit of a difference with an iPhone 12. And if the headphone has Aptex, then I hear a little bit of a difference with Android. Now with these, I really didn't hear a major difference between the two, and that was listening through all sorts of genres of music. So AAC is there for the codex, but I really didn't notice a major difference with the iPhone versus uh, my Samsung device. Now, as far as the connectivity goes, you are getting Bluetooth 5.0 with these. So I did experience a solid connection with these. There were some times when I had my phone in my pocket that I was losing connection, and it was very, very noticeable when I was in the gym. Uh, once again, I understand gyms have a lot of interference and a lot of people are on their headphones and all that, so I get that. But with it in my pocket at the gym, I lost connection a ton in the gym. And that's once again, not a knock on the earbuds because that does happen every now and then. I've only had two pair of headphones that have not done that to me. So like I said, I was kind of hoping that these would not do it, but they did. So I need to report that. Now, as far as the connection goes though, if I'm sitting like in a controlled environment, like my home or my room, I was able to get around my house without any, um, you know, misconnections or anything like that. Once I started getting outside, I did start losing connection. So once I got past about 30 feet, uh, it started getting a little choppy, but not too bad. And I have to remember that it's going through a lot of walls in my house, so I do understand that. Um, but that's just to give you an idea if you left the phone at the desk and you walked away. Um, but I was able at the gym when the phone was out, like if I had it on the treadmill and I walked away, uh, it didn't really drop out. It just really was when I had it in my pocket, so it was a really odd thing, but is what it is. As far as talking about battery life, 
Um, the battery life on these are pretty decent. So if you have ANC turned on, uh, you're getting about four hours. And if you have it turned off, you're getting about five hours. So four to five hours. And that's pretty true with my testing that I've had them on. Uh, I had ANC on most of the time and I got sometimes a little over four hours, uh, but it never crept to the closer to five hour range with ANC. I did test ambient mode here and there, but not like all day or anything like that. Now, if you do uh, use the charging case, you're able to get 20 hours out of it total. So you can get a full day out of them um, with the charging case if you do just listen to them all day, every day. But if you do forget to charge them and you're in a pinch and you're heading to the gym or something like that and you need your earbuds, they do have a fast charge option, which is awesome. So plug them in for 10 minutes and you're gonna get an hour's worth of play time. So that is pretty nice. So 10 minutes equals one hour of play time. So not bad at all with that. So now to talk about the sound. The sound is not bad. Um, once again, the theme of this video is having to remember that they're $59 earbuds. So they do sound pretty decent. They have some bass with it. Um, you know, so there was um, some desirable things that I was hoping for when I was listening to music. For example, one thing is I wish they would get louder. Uh, that is something that I love. I love loud earbuds in my ears where if I want to turn them down, then I have the option, but I don't want to turn them all the way up and go, man, I really wish there was just like one or two more notches where I could go up and get a little bit more out of them. So unfortunately with these earbuds, they don't get super loud, but that might be a good thing because you know, I'm not gonna blow up my eardrum, but I can tell you for a fact, I definitely wanted them to get louder. The bass, like I said, is present. It's not muddy really at all. Um, it's there, um, but it doesn't like just blare out everything else if that makes sense so as far as the trouble and the mids and the highs and all that with these earbuds they do perform well but like I said I, I was wanting a little bit more treble and a little bit more bass and a little bit more volume so like I said for $59 they they're they're good you know I mean I, I can't just say they're crap I mean they are a good pair of headphones because if you're someone that's looking for wireless or true wireless earbuds these do pretty dang good you know i mean i'm not going to sit here and say they're going to compete with my samsung uh, earbuds or the apple airpods pro not the other ones i hate the other ones but the ones that are in ear they're not going to compete with those but they're gonna work right so with my overall scale f to an a plus I would say these are about a solid B or B plus. So the reason why I say that is because the sound is the most important thing in my opinion when it comes to earbuds, right? So when it comes to earbuds, you really, really, really need um, just some good sounding earbuds and they sound good, but not great. Uh, another knock on them is the functionality with the actual touch controls. So you are able to control volume and all that one weird thing about them is you don't have a single tap feature. It's only double or triple tap. Now, if I'm totally wrong on that, guys, comment down below and let me know. But I could not figure out how to have a single tap. And even in the instructions, it only shows the ability to double and triple tap for different features to bring up, you know, Google Assistant or to change the volume or to skip or go back or, you know, play pause, all that only double and triple taps I, I don't know it's weird um but hey, once again i'm nitpicking here so but i'm supposed to right so all in all they're good not great but they're good they fit in my ear well i did not have one issue at all having them fall out of my ear and i do believe that edifier does have the opportunity here to really really focus on making these better so i definitely would recommend them guys uh, if you are looking for some earbuds. So there you have it guys. There's the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. 
And also guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about what's going on back here. So I've really taken a lot of time trying to change up the look a little bit of my background. So I added some little lights here, uh, did some of that sound foam stuff and did a design behind my desk here. So really trying to make it look a little bit cooler. So let me know down in the comments if it was a hit or miss. So yeah, so be safe out there. God bless and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.